Okay, I finally have a resolution to that issue, and it's, it has to do with Yahoo Finance's API. And what made this really bad was that this error only showed up some of the time. Those are the worst kinds of technical issues to track down. So um, here's what I need you to do. Go and launch Anaconda PowerShell prompt as administrator. And then um, your Anaconda installation should be under C, Program Data, Anaconda 3. Probably can install it anywhere, but I'd like you to do what I'm about to describe to you. Right now, the way this works is, See, down here at the bottom, well, if we can get it to show it, now I'll have to make it a little smaller. This is base PSC uh, colon backslash program data backslash anaconda three, and then it's got a greater than sign. What I need you to do is go all the way back to the root, unless it already says this, okay, but yours may say something else. You're in a different directory. This is like having your um, file explorer going. So for instance, you can go C, right? And then program uh, data, program data, and then Anaconda 3. So this is just showing you where these directories are. So what I wanna do is, if you're not already here, this is where you wanna be. You can change directory by doing CD dot dot. And now I'm all the way back to C. And then I wanna to navigate to uh, program data and then Anaconda 3. So you can do this by doing CD. You can try typing it in all at once. Program data backslash Anaconda and hit enter. Whoops, it didn't like that. Let's do CD program data and then CD Anaconda. Whoa, why is it? Oh, Anaconda 3. That's what, that was my mistake. That's why it blew up. CD Anaconda 3. Okay, so now this is the directory you want to be in in PowerShell when you start doing this stuff. So, once I'm here now, what I want to do is install something called Y Finance. And this is a fix to the specific issue that we're having, which is just this has been horrible. So, uh, Yahoo Finance had an API, an application programmatic interface, and now that API has become unpredictable. So, what we need to do now is install Y Finance. So we're going to do pip. Whoops, I don't think that there's a conda install for this. So I'm going to do um, pip install fix Yahoo Finance. So um, you can try it like this with this command pip install fix Yahoo Finance dash dash upgrade dash dash no cache directory. So you can try that. I'm gonna go ahead and do a pip uninstall so I can go through the installation process with you here. Whoops, and it would help if I type something better than that. Uh, actually, and that's not the command. It's called Y Finance. All right, so I'm going to do a pip uninstall of Y Finance. Okay, and yeah, let's get rid of it. All right, so uh, I'm uninstalled. So now I'm going to do this, the pip install Y Finance upgrade no cash error. A couple of things can happen here. I'm going to try putting in the whole command line first. If it blows up, I'll just do a pip install of Y Finance. And then I'll do the full command. So if for some reason this thing blows up, what I need you to do is just do a, okay, there we go, it installed it. Just do a pip install Y Finance. All right, so if this blows up, do this one, then do this one, okay? All right, so once we've got Y Finance installed, we have to make a couple of coding changes. This is a fix to the way things work. So some of the things here look the same. We're importing pandas as PD, Importing Y Finance as YF. This one's new. All right, and then this one should stay the same. Import Pandas Data Reader as PDR. Okay, so now we're defining the start and the end of whatever our time frame is. I'll just I'll make it a big, big. See now, notice here there's 252 records and six columns. 
252 rows and six columns. Okay, so, um, and then use style ggplot. Then df is going to equal uh, pdr, which is the pandas data reader, and then get yahoo. Now here, you can just put, just put the ticker. You don't have to put yahoo in there anymore. Okay, so you can just put like uh, msft for Microsoft. Right, and then the start and end, which are the times you have here. And then print the head of it, which is the first five records. So when I run it, when I run it, what should happen? There we go. So finally it works. So like if I change this date to 2009. It's giving me records from 2009. So that's it. That just, again, because it was an intermittent problem, it was a devil to fix. Um, here we're not really using pandas or matplotlib. But uh, have those ready. So there you go. Now you should be able to finish your homework. So um, I will include uh, this code. I'll go ahead and make sure that this is available in um, in uh, Blackboard. And then I'll make sure that this code is also available on Blackboard. So... Good luck, everybody. Sorry that that was so difficult, but, you know, sometimes this is just the way it goes with coding. So have a good one, everybody. We finally got a fix.